here it is, a groove slightly transformed, just a bit of a break from the norm. Steal my lyrics like hubcaps and eat them like stacks of flapjacks like rock rats. Hey! Come inside, take off your. In Washington today, more tough language about Iraq. The State Department charged again that Saddam Hussein, in the department's words, hasn't come clean yet about his nuclear weapons program. Officials also say that the fighting appears to have stopped in northern Iraq after serious clashes last week between Kurdish rebels and the Iraqi army. At this point, the rebels control the major city in the region. Police in Milwaukee have a man in custody after they found body parts of at least 15 people in his apartment. The suspect is a 31-year-old male named Jeffrey Dahmer. He was serving five-year probation from jail after being convicted of sexual assault and enticing a 13-year-old boy. Police say they found human heads inside his refrigerator. And as Charles Zewi reports, they may have a suspect, but authorities are still baffled over the motive. And Dibble throws the ball away. The sends out a second. It almost looked like Dibble was throwing the ball at the center. And Joe West is throwing Dibble out of the game. <laughs> To the pokey. <laughs> the way things have been going, I didn't know if it's somebody or something. So go ahead and peel it, weigh it, press it, and caress it. But if you can't pump it, it's not a poor part of crime. They plump when you cook them. Four cylinder engine and the deepest cargo bed in its class. That's too much. Because right now, you can get a Nissan 4x2 truck with a chrome package for just $149 a month. See your nearest Nissan dealer for details. Right Guard Sports Stick. It provides maximum protection and the freshest scents. A sublime palette of odoriferous emanation. After all, a true artiste should be remembered for his inspiration, not his perspiration. Right Guard Sports Stick. Anything less would be uncivilized. Let us let you in on the best way to meet a lady friend. Just pick up the phone and dial it right now to meet the kind of ladies that make you get wild. Check out the real messages from the real gal and some lovely ladies who would be your pal. Once you pick up the phone, I bet you will find some love and romance on the love line. Call it now. One nine hundred six four six. In a world of violence. They didn't take orders. I just want to run things. They took over. Christian Slater, Patrick Dempsey, Richard Grieco. Monsters Rated R starts July 26th. Tonight, Late Night transcends the talk show genre again with Midnight Idol Wayne Newton and the original Batman, Adam West. More stars per minute than any other show. It's a Saturday night special with one of the greatest comic minds of this century. Mel Brooks tops off NBC's comedy lineup Saturday at 10.30. They're just like other men. I'm not R2. I'm not R2. But in the air, they're like no one else. Charlie Sheen. Be careful out there. I'll be just fine. Roy Bridges. I had a better part of my bladder blown off the Florida Canal. Carrie Elways. I came to get my chafing fish. Valeria Golino. And Saddam Hussein as himself. Hot shots. Rated PG-13. Full Worldwide Information Systems. Nothing could be finer. Craftsmanship that people put into them. Than to be inside a diner. Spectacular little places. Eggs and sausage. Comfortable conversation. Neon and nostalgia. You're a, you're a piece of history. Dinosaur sort of piece of history. Elvin has a case of the blue. Sandra woke up with Elvin. Again. Again. They're all blue. 
Because that's how I've been feeling all day. Alvin is the fellow that she likes. Then why am I here? Because you're the fellow I like. Whatever Sandra ends up with this, her choice, we have to respect it. Okay, then is it all right if I root for who I want to? Cliff fighting a losing battle? Find out Monday night on The Cosby Show. Wednesday. I took Buster to the vet. And? Honey, is there something wrong with him? Well, nothing that can't be fixed. You'll get sympathy paints on the Wonder Years. Then, get my head. A special episode. Nobody makes blueberry pancakes like you do, Margaret. Oh, those aren't blueberry pancakes. Share memories oh. of Grandpa. <laughs> on Growing Pains, Wednesday. Tonight, look who's playing Death Row. Is everybody having a good time? Don't be one of them. Catch Cephas and Reese on In Living Color. For Chapel Hill. Thanks for watching tonight's movie presentation, 16 Candles. Stay tuned to party with the king of late night cool on the Arsenio Hall Show. Tonight at 1035 here on Receptive Channel 9. What is racism anyway? Ignorance, which is the mother of violence and brutality. It's coming up all over again, and, and something really needs to be done about it. People just don't communicate, and one side feels as though they don't have to communicate. Racism begins. Cult 45. Yeah, I can dig that. that, that. Oh, Billy! <laughs> Cold, 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 cold. As a matter of fact, I have some friends waiting for me at home right now. Billy, you sure you don't need me to come with you? Chaos for a couple who just want to say I do. Scott Valentine and Michelle Green are having wedding day blues. Next. The next dream on. Martin's taking the high road. Good shit. You're stoned. Martin. Or is it the low road? I am really really disappointed the possum children were very 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 disappointed in their father how did he make it there is there a middle road was it fun go to your room dream on dad coming up next on hbo and you know what else you get if you order now sports world events and great family viewing 24 hours a day just call 1-800-OK-CABLE -OK now get showtime free for one month plus cable installation for only 9.95 showtime we entertain you like no one can it's program director for north carolina public television with today's showing of the happiness patrol we are ending over 10 years of broadcasting the doctor who series on behalf of North Carolina Public Television, I want to thank all of our Doctor Who viewers for your loyalty and support over the years. During that time, we've shown every available episode of Doctor Who several times. Many of you know the BBC has placed new productions of the series on hiatus, and at the earliest, it will be 1993 before new episodes will be available to us. We'll be listening to a cut called Notes. Here we go. They coming the in? next string is that, coming which in? should sound hey, like hey, this. Hey, hold on. Are they coming in? Okay, okay. Oh, get ready, Paul. Here, play something quick. They're coming in. Turn off the... Here, here, who is... Free when you buy a Sega Genesis system at its new price of $149.99. For Jeopardy. If you have the fever for fun... If you're crazy about competition, if you're wild about winning, you'll be in bliss over this. Here's your chance to take the challenge. Jeopardy is coming to Indianapolis, and their quest for the quick-witted could be your step into stardom. For more details on how to enter, watch Jeopardy all next week at 7.30 on Wish TV Channel 8. Take the challenge. Soviet President Mikhail Gorbachev applies for full membership in the IMF and puts the Soviet Union's state-owned automaker on the block for foreign investors. On world markets, Tokyo's Nikkei index soared 
538 points excuse me, in today's session, while London shares are down slightly in early trading. And on Wall Street, the Dow stands at 29.83 and one quarter, following a 29-point loss on Tuesday. Soviet people can't see eye to eye when it comes to eliminating communism. The story when we return. He does a lot of things with kids over the world, and his career will be over when that story runs. This is not the first time Rubens has had a run-in with the law. According to police, Rubens was arrested in 1983 for loitering and prowling three blocks in the same Triple X South Trail Adult Theater. The 1983 misdemeanor charge was later dropped by the state attorney's office. Hey, what's today, think of work, Conky? The 38-year-old Rubens developed the Pee Wee Herman character, a lovable nerd with nasal voice, skinny bow tie, and shrunken 50s-style suit in 1979. The Tour de France cycling race had its 17th stage today, and... 80-mile trek in the mountains, but now the race is uphill for the two-time defending champion, Greg Oman. He has fallen back now more than six and a half minutes behind the leader, Miguel Indurain of Spain, who has taken a big step toward winning the overall championship. This is Maximum Hoops, presented by L.A. Gear. Defying the odds in a game traditionally dominated by big men, this diminutive guard scored almost 18,000 points in his 13-year NBA career. Name him. Most important issues. From exposing the Klan to uncovering a hazardous waste problem, Tom Cochran has been on the cutting edge of the issues that affect Indiana. So the next time news matters to you, turn to Tom Cochran. Weeknights on News Center 13. Taste, and at the heart of every excursion is the elegance of dining by rail. Phone 262-3333 for tickets and information. And climb aboard. Stereo, it is oral. If these mirrors could talk. And after you move in, Axel will throw you a housewarming party. So send a postcard to MTV's Evict Axel Contest or pick up the phone and call. Along with Rafael Palmeiro, is the best young left-handed hitter in the league. And Fernandez is going to be a first or a second starter. It's really important. Now, they had some problems with the other scouting down lower, but it's the foundation of that team was built with four drafts, and it's probably one of the reasons that Goldus may well end up the general manager in Milwaukee. Hey, FM TV9 presents... World Championship Wrestling, Great American Bash Tour 91, this Sunday, 7.30 at the Coliseum in El Paso. Ten big matches scheduled, including Sting and Lex Luger, Stephen up to take on Ric Flair and Nikita Koloff. The main event, a Battle of the Giants cage match. Elegante, battling the one-man gang. Great tickets still available at all rainbow ticket match locations, or you can charge them by calling 1-800-749-9. Called Love in a Small Town. And she'll be appearing tomorrow night in Columbus, Ohio, Saturday night in Maryville, Indiana, and Sunday in Pine Knob, Michigan. Would you welcome K.T. Oslo? K.T. <laughs> it's very clear Our love is here to stay Ticket or album from KT called Love in a Small Town. Here she is. For the little local pushover, no shame in my game. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only, Mr. Eddie Dash. Everybody! Richard Pryor's a con man. Anybody home? Gene Wilder's a liar. He's got a titanium plate in there. When I hit him in the head, that actually feels good. What these two can get into... Wow! Boy, that was good beer. ...is nothing compared to what they've got to get out of. It's very difficult for me to be honest with you at a time like this. Another you. Rated R. Starts Friday, July 26th. Francesca, you up there? We gotta leave now. Great. Tony Gambaletti. I've been waiting years for this. The next match.
we're due for a bug out. The rumor spreads that the unit is about to retreat from a communist assault. A battalion of North Koreans is headed this way. And the rumor grows. An entire battalion of Chinese paratroopers is supposed to drop in on us within a few hours. And grows. Chinese paratroopers and tanks coming. Four divisions. Is the enemy really about to attack? Find out on the next match. Tuesday night at 10 on Receptive Channel 9. Five foot nine inch Calvin Murphy averaged 17.9 points per game in his career on his way to 17,949 total points. Murphy made a big day for himself as one of the NBA's smallest players with the most points among those under six feet tall. To improve the way you sleep for less money, get free facts by mail. Gives. Life takes. You won't need this either. It was stitched in. Life moves. You have the right to remain silent. Life grew. Hot two, hot two, sick of the bean, bomb, boom, hot two. Life hurts. Mel Brooks, Leslie Ann Warren. Life stinks. Follow me! Rated PG 13. Now playing at theaters. Previously on 90210. Everybody talks about sex like it's no big deal. And it is a big deal. Things are happening too fast. What are you saying? I need to break up with you. And now, an all new 90210. You've heard Elvis is alive. Well, how about he's living under the Witness Protection Program? Well, ready or not, Entertainment Tonight talks to the author who says the king may have actually faked his death to hide from an international criminal group. His testimony resulted in six men being indicted. But Elvis's longtime friend says something else altogether. I was there. I was the one that tried to revive him. The Elvis Conspiracy, only on Entertainment Tonight. Monday at... Call now and get a hot deal on a Domino's Pizza Feast. Loaded with toppings and extra cheese. Call the pizza professionals at Domino's Pizza. Order a medium pizza feast loaded with your favorite toppings and get a second medium pizza of equal or lesser value for just $4 more. Jammer basketball. You won't see moves like that in the summer. Who's out a new way to treat a superstar? Take your best shot. Cowabunga action jammer basketball. Part of the Team Turtle collection. The Shredder comes out with a furious attack. Michelangelo fires back with a left and a right. And you're in control. Now he's really kicking some shell. Oh, what a shot. Dueling Dudes, a game of skill and action. Part of the Team Turtle collection. And try not to splash. Quaker Oat Squares. You'll love them from square one. Watch the conclusion of The Deer Hunter tonight at 8 on Universal 9. I just heard from the women in the neighborhood that there's a new stud in town. Big Al Bundy becomes the neighborhood hunk. Did they say anything about my butt? Did they? Did they? Did they? They liked it. <laughs> yes! Why did the women think he's so hot? It's an Al Inferno. Tonight, beginning at 8 on Fox 5. There is a revival going on up by Lake Sunapee in New Hampshire. Tucked away behind the peace and quiet of a country setting, there's a giant antique called the Apple Tree Diner, a 1929 Worcester lunch car. Young antique lover Dave Waller is restoring it. I like old stuff anyway. I like, um, some people call it nostalgia, but I think it's just old stuff. One third of all Americans will be members of a racial minority, such as Latinos, Asians, and blacks. But as the numbers of ethnic groups rise, so does the tension, which often explodes into crimes of hate and racism. There's no shortage of racial confrontations making the news. Not guilty! Not guilty! Not guilty! Crimes of hate have reached record levels. I have been called an international beggar by the military rebels. Begging does not become me. Yet, perhaps it is what I had to do. I could have kept my pride and held aloof, but that would not have helped our people. 
and it is for them that I was placed in this office. Now, Britain's political leaders are being asked why something wasn't done sooner. Here's ABC's Pierre Salinger. The BCCI has now been identified as the most corrupt bank in history. And today, you speak at 11. Good evening. It's a discovery more gruesome than the movie Silence of the Lambs. Police today in Milwaukee wore yellow rubber suits and breathed from air tanks while removing boxes of body parts from a fly-infested apartment. As Jay Levine reports, it was perhaps the suspect who lived in this apartment's next victim that escaped who was able to lead police to the gruesome discovery. Now you can get private messages from exciting singles who want you for phone talk, dating, and more. Silky says he's found the same pattern across the country. Lead was put in gasoline in the 1920s to fuel bigger, more powerful cars. Right from the start, there were concerns about the health effects. But historian David Rosner says the auto and gas industries overwhelmed the critics. This is the 1920s where the business of America was business. This was a period in which the future of America was seen to reside in the very companies that were creating tetraethyl lead. So you have this enormous pressure to promote business and promote industrialization under any cost. Today's Best is brought to you by Nike, who reminds you, just do it. Welcome back. Still to come, our conversation this evening with Kirby Puckett, who says you had to be tough to make it out of Calumet City. And he also reveals why he wants to be the car wash king of the Twin Cities. Well, we will put this Sunday into the spin cycle for a look at today's best, starting with golf. At the Greater Hartford Open, Corey Pavin, the 18th hole, needing the birdie to send it to sudden death, and does exactly that. After asking Jose, how's Madonna? And where's Esther, his ex-wife? Well, Randy Velarde heckled Jose on this drive. Two runs scored. Yankees led it 4-1. to one. In the back, there's a bunch of people, uh, like 10 rows back and 10 rows like to the side. They're all heckling them. And uh, like all of a sudden, what were they saying? like steroids, using steroids, where's your gun, where's the boat, where's Esther, where's Madonna and stuff. I was hearing. Uh, and it comes up to me afterwards, you know. I mean, like I even got up like to talk to him. I could see what he wanted from me, you know, voluntarily. And then all of a sudden, you know, I get kicked out. You know? For no reason at all. Oh, that's a back to the see. Can the rebate be our down payment? Yes, sir. You'll take our trade in, too. Yes, ma'am. Will the Sonata seat five? Oh, yes. It's bigger inside than Camry or Accord. Big size comfort at a compact price. Miller Lite. It's it. And that's that. Katie Allison, Ben. Now, we know that you're out for several months because you're putting an album together. But what else have you been up to? Relaxing? Where have I been? When do they ask you this? All the time. Yeah. Where have I been? Where have you been, Katie? <laughs> Where am I now? Uh, uh, well, I've been doing uh, various uh, TV appearances here and there. I did a bunch of Salute to the Troops. 